Friends, Greg Newmaster coming at you again with another action figure review. If you like the video, good people out there, please like and subscribe. Today, I have Masters of the Universe, uh, Masterverse, new, new, Eternia, Beastman. Uh, man, it, so it's kind of annoying. Uh, I hate it when... Uh, toy manufacturers do this i know why they do it obviously they want to make money they want to put varying products out there diversify all sorts of stuff to get you know uh more money of course but uh they put out the masterverse beast man already but it was the one from the show and he was not even nearly as awesome as this is so I did pick that one up, but I never opened it, so I'm just going to sell it uh, on eBay because I, as soon as I saw this one, I was like, oh my goodness, this is so much cooler. Um, I just wish they would have put this one out in the first place, and I'm not exactly sure what the new Eternia line means. Perhaps this is what the sequel of the show is going to be called um, for season two, uh, something like that with um, Masters of the Universe Revelation. Uh, so maybe it'll be called New Attorney, and maybe this is what Beastman's going to look like in that. I don't know, but this this guy is way better than what they previously released. Just like how they released the classic Tila versus the uh, uh, the Masters of the Universe Revelation Tila, and some people like that Tila, and and that's fine. I just like the classic look, so. Uh, I got the newer Tila instead of the first one they released. But anyhow, so this is Beastman. Looks awesome. Let's open this guy and check him out. He's hitting targets all over the country. Pick him up on eBay. Pick him up on BigBadToyStore.com. Entertainment Earth. All those good spots. So, let's check him out. Nice box. New attorney. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what this means. So, if anybody knows any information, please leave it in the comments. 40th anniversary. I'm excited for the, the anniversary He-Man that's going to be coming down the line. Uh, lovely, beautiful artwork on the side. From my understanding, this is uh, reminiscent of the original concept art and comic book art. Uh, and that's where this specific Beastman may come from. Uh, yeah, I see it says original designs inspired by classic concepts. So, you know, that's where it comes from. Uh, there's also a show on Netflix called The Toys That Made Us, and they do a whole thing about the creation of the Masters of the Universe toy line in the cartoon, and it's awesome. Highly recommend it. The Toys That Made Us on Netflix. But uh, here's a little bio here. It says, Beast Man, tribal leader, shaman of the seven savage tribes that dwell within the majestic, I love that word, majestic, jungles of Eternia. Beast Man defeated the mighty bear demon. And earned the right to lead his people. Then they mysteriously disappeared. Now he searches all corners of the planet for his tribe. Nothing can stop him from reuniting them under his care. Not the barbaric He-Man. Not even the evil Skeletor. So I guess this is just a, a alternate storyline for him. But uh, I do hope they use this look uh, in the second season of the Masters of Earth show. So let's pop this guy open and you guys can see what he's like. Um, I already cut the tape. Uh, okay, so he's held in here by the little plastic ties. I just like to pull them like so if you're strong enough and you can get your fingers on there. And I mean, this guy looks phenomenal. I love how he's big and he's heavy. And I love this uh, this fur sort of um, drapery that he has over him, like sort of shoulder pads, uh, sort of like King Grayskull has this too. Advantage of the makers of Barbie, how they have the clothes, so they kind of got the soft goods down. Um, let's see. Oh, this little helmet comes off like so. So it's like the skin of an animal. Really nice. It just popped off his head. Real, it just fell off. I don't even know. So that sort of goes on like that. Um, this is just, <laughs> oh, this is so cool. This guy is awesome. This is by far the best Beastman action figure I've ever seen. Uh, and they give you various accessories as well. I'm going to take off this, even though I'll display him uh, with this uh, 
sort of armor and, and belt and tunic, whatever you want to call it. Uh, let's see. I don't know if you can pop his head off. I don't know how to get it off. Yeah, his head pops off real easily. I'm going to pull this off and get a good look at him and see what he looks like. Yeah. So that's what he looks like without it. And he has his nice classic um, uh, greaves and bracers on his forearms. He has like shoulder pad spikes. And then if you want, you also have the option of uh, his original sort of chest armor that you can put on if you want the classic look, which, which is awesome as well. So lots of options here. And... You can just pop that on the back like so. And he looks looks great. I mean, that's that's original Beastman look. That if you want to go for that. Comes with two sets of hands. We have an open hand and a fisted hand. And then we have two uh, weapons holding hands. Uh, they have the horizontal hinge on them. Uh, which is not my favorite. I like the vertical hinge when it goes right there. And then the, the wrist can bend down like so instead of back and forth like that. Just so you guys know what I'm talking about. That's nice. And he has two, two really nice weapons. So pop these hands off. And I just like, he's so, he's so girthy. He's so big, so mighty looking, uh, which I really dig. And yeah, pull that other hand off, and that pegs in like so. Uh, oh yeah, you can even remove the gauntlets, and he even has uh, another bracer or bracelet on underneath. So get all kinds of different looks with him. I'm not sure if they. Uh, I feel like this is this figure is bigger than the original Beastman that they gave us, but maybe not. We'll take a look in a second here. And you get this huge club. Like spiked bat. It's like Fred Flintstone bat. <laughs> I don't know if you guys uh, are too young or old enough to know what the Flintstones are. I don't know if that's like a, if that's a super outdated reference at this point. Uh but it looks it reminds me of a Flintstones prehistoric bat. Just beat the crap out of somebody with that. And he also gets his uh, classic whip as well. And uh, I just, uh, I don't know. I don't like how this whip doesn't have anything on the end of it. It's just a string, so it doesn't really have any weight to it. Uh, so I don't like that in terms of... Accessories the the hands are a soft plastic, so it's really easy to get the weapons in the hands and Yeah, he looks ah, he looks dang good Just awesome. Very awesome uh, articulation uh, We have the good split we got the t-joint and the hips we got double jointed knees uh, ah, It's real tight there you can take all this armor off of him as well. I just love this articulation. Double jointed knees. Just looks fantastic. Um, we got the hinge and the ankles. I just want to be really careful because I feel like all this is real tight right now. Always want to be careful with your figures when you take them out of the package. For those of you who don't know this because uh, you can snap them real easily because the joints are frozen up because they're brand new and they've been sitting in the heat and, and then they cool down and they sort of lock up and the paint locks them up and all sorts of stuff. Uh, shoulders go up about that high. Um, we got two points of articulation in the torso. So we got a crunch and then we got full rotation if you want to do that. Uh, his loincloth is... Uh, See, this is why I think this is going to be a part of the next season because it has sort of that tech look to it that they were alluding to, um, like Triclops's tech cult. Uh, and that's what that looks like. So I don't know. That's just what I'm thinking there. Uh, he's got double jointed elbows, but his arms are so big that it's not really necessary. Uh, and this joint is also stuck. And his hand just fell off on me. So there we go. 
I got that, but yeah, so I'm going to put this bracer back on and I'm going to port this hand back in there like so. And just a good look at his face in case you guys didn't see that. His head popped off very easy for me though. Yeah, so right now I have him in that sort of classic look. This is what he looks like from behind. That's what he looks like on the bottom. He even has sculpting on the bottom of his feet. Uh, looks like just the wrinkly, hard, callous skin of um, an ape's feet or hands. If you've ever seen pictures of ape's feet or hands or, or seen them in person at the zoo or something like that, they're real thick. and uh, So just excellent detail. Looks great. Looks really, really good. Um, I'm not going to do them in this classic look, though, because I really like this look this is awesome and he just looks very amazing and put his uh chest and fur piece back on and there's even a uh, a little port on the back where he can store a weapon of some sort not sure what would go there though I mean, I guess you could put his whip there if you wanted. Yeah, like he can hold his whip in there. It sort of hangs out, but throw his helmet on. Now that's that's one hell of a beast, man. Honestly, like he looks so cool. Uh, my other favorite beast man of all time is uh, the Masters of the Universe classics. Just such a beautiful, or I mean 2000X, 2000X, Masters of the Universe, 2000X. And he just looks beautiful. The Four Horsemen sculpted that. And I, and I like his whip too, because <laughs> you can actually whip somebody like that instead of just having a string. Um, I'm not going to take this out of the package because I'm going to resell it. But to me, this looks a lot bigger than this guy. But I could be wrong, and it could just because of all the armor that he has. But, um, yeah, this is this guy to me is way better than this guy. So, anyhow, yeah, he's hitting target, he's all over the place. Uh, between I, he's approximately $40, so he looks like a deluxe figure, he's huge, he's awesome. Highly recommend him. So, if you guys like the video, please like and subscribe. Highly recommend Masters of the Universe and New Eternia Beastman. Uh, peace and God bless you all. Thank you.